Hello from Hi-Fi News. My name is Ville Santico. I have few news here. If you have uh, any new car radio related news, please leave me a comment on Facebook or send me an email. I have here few news, so just let's dig in. Uh, Digital Designs has pronounced uh, the new uh, bullet Twitter. It is DD VOB4. It is larger than VOB VOB3 and probably quite good sounding. Pricing might be just a little bit over 100 euros a piece. Just my guess, uh, but the overall quality looks nice. Installation is similar to the VOB3, and I will be probably testing those later this year. I hope I will because I really like Digital Designs VOB3 uh, uh, tweeters. I have four of them, they sound nice. I want to test VOB4s. Now, uh, go on the Audio webpage to check out more of these tweeters. Now here in Finland, as I'm making these uh, videos mostly in Finland and in Finnish people, we have this new brand called KYCX. I'm not actually sure how it's pronounced. Leave me a comment. If you know how it's pronounced, I just say Kix or something like that. Kix Gorilla Bass 15 is the biggest of the series. Uh, they have small, medium sized and large and these very huge uh, car audio big subwoofers. And this is the biggest, the big 769 euros in autovihde.com. Again, power, power handling is around 4000 watts in RMS and 7000 watts in uh, max. So it is uh, quite a large of a uh, subwoofer. Now, only thing from this picture I can tell you of that it has a big, uh, high and a large uh, surround up there. Probably just a plastic cap or maybe paper. paper uh, dust cap over there and the best basket looks looks like uh, the frame looks like from a uh, fi audio i think they had similar baskets but it's it's very good very rigid looking only thing i have here is that uh, they have used this sticker uh, sticker around the ferrets onto the magnet so i'm not quite liking that uh, grand zero uh, gz um Plutonium series 21 inch subwoofer also has these stickers all around the uh, magnet. So uh, that's about it mostly. I hoped getting one speaker from Kix, not the biggest one, but maybe some smaller one to test if uh, so how the quality will be. Now also this Kickax has uh, amplifiers. They look really nice. I actually really dig that look. Uh, Gorilla Bass 10,000 watt bass uh, subwoofer. Ah, sorry, amplifier. Yes, it gives 12.6 uh, volts to 10,000 watts. Now that's a very good uh, indicator of how much the power can be uh, drawn out from the amplifier because normally in here in Finland we use mostly on batteries, not that many alternators or supercapacitors. So we have less than 13 volt uh, power system in our cars. We have 12 volt batteries and the uh, normal stock alternator cannot uh, put up up to 14.4 volts. Like in mostly in America, I can see these videos where people have just crazy, crazy, crazy power systems there and they run multiple alternators. But uh, it gives more than 10,000 watts in 14.4. So if you want the big beefy amplifier, uh, check this out. 13,000 watt RMS at 14.4 volts uh, to a 1,399 euros. It's a bargain and it looks damn good. That amplifier actually looks very good. Now on to the next... <clears throat> Next news here. Uh, I made a mistake on the last video. So I tell, told about um, these new massive audio amplifiers and I uh, discriminated them that they don't give output as much as they um, look. They have uh, markings on the amplifiers. So uh, as this Draco 5K, D5K amplifier, I just assumed that if you have an amplifier that has 5K on it, it means 5000 and the amplifier outputs 5000 watts. It's uh, normal to me, but uh, I was mistaken. Sorry about that. Uh, the amplifier is actually 2600 watts RMS uh, benched. It, it, it is two and a half thousand watt amplifier. It just has 5k on it. I'm not sure why it is so, uh, but uh, Big D with, uh, did the uh, testing on the amplifier and, and it output like 3300 watts or more, three and a half thousand watts uh, RMS. So uh, the amplifier gives over 1000 watts out more than it's rated for. Now, I'm not uh, trying to explain or understand why they put the 5K on it, uh, but the 5K model outputs two and a half thousand watts 
2600, uh, D6K uh, 3000 watts, and D10K 5000 watts. Now, probably the 5K on the fi uh, 5K model is that if you link two amplifiers together, it will output 5000 watts. Now, that makes sense, uh, but then why sell one amplifier with the brand name of 5K? It's a similar if you are using like sound digital amplifier, a 35000 watt amplifier, and you just put uh, 70000 watts on it. It does not make any sense to me. So, on to the next, <coughs> next news here, we have Audison Beat Nova. Uh, it is a brand new uh, DSP, it has signal to noise ratio of much higher than the uh, Audison B10 or I think B1 also. It has a 110 decibels in optical and 107 I think it was in uh, analog inputs. So that makes it really good uh, uh, digital processor. Uh, old ones, these Audison B10 <coughs> so, uh, DSPs had tend to have slight hissing noise on the background because of the low signal to noise ratio. But with this, uh, if you're using optical, you are totally fine. But if you are not using optical, you're using only uh, normal RCAs, it will be probably much better than the old B10. Now, this uh, DSP comes uh, between the B1 and B10 to as a uh, BA standalone DSP for your driver uh, and also it has nine channels it's quite clever you can put a uh, two channels into the uh, front left uh, well two RCAs to the front two RCAs to the back left and right and then you have one for subwoofer so normal eight channel DSPs you can only drive like uh, limited amount of amplifiers or limited amount of channels with this you can put a three-way front and just mids back and one subwoofer and it also have 12 volt triggers uh, and a ground trigger now that means that if you are making a demo car like i usually do uh, and you have a me different memory slots for different setups in your dsp now if you like open a trunk you can put a little um a bottle there that uh, opens or closes a relay that gives negative or plus 12, 12 volts into that DSP to switch on the um, second memory channel. That's how you can make a, a very nice demo car as when you are driving with your trunk closed, you have these uh, sound alignments correctly into your driver's seat and when you open the back trunk and you want to play loud outside, then it switches automatically into demo mode without using any buttons or anything like that. Now, the Beat Nowhere comes with this new uh, DRC AB, AB digital remote controller. Looks, it looks quite nice. It actually looks similar to a Hertz DSB, which is uh, new, and I think it won the ASAP award also. So, uh, and also the Hertz DSB looks quite similar to uh, Audison B10. Uh, but this is a new, and this looks really good. I really think, uh, I really like how Audison products look. Now onto the last last um, little bit of news here, I have this new Acer Best product in-car amplifier, Moscone Gladden Pro 5 and 4. Now this has uh, two nice features. It is a very high-end, high sound quality amplifiers, but it has a five channels in this Pro 5. It has two channels, 95 watt per channel, and two channels, a, a 185 watts. So if you think about it, you can use it uh, as a two-way full active front end in your car. Two small 95 watt uh, outputs for your tweeters, because tweeters don't need much output. Two high uh, wattage ampli amplifier for the mid range, 185 watt mid for the mid range, and one uh, 660 watts for 4 ohms or uh, in 2 ohms 1000 watts. So you can use this as a very high end amplifier for your, for your sound quality car. Now, this also has a quite nice feature. If you're using a Moscone DSP, uh, you can bypass the signal side of this amplifier, so you can feed directly into the ampli amplification side on your uh, amp amplifier without alterating the signal in any way inside the um, signal side. Uh, you can also use, if you are using like standalone uh, head unit or something like that without a DSP processor, you can put them 
through the amplifiers, normal signal outside with the LPFs and uh, uh, crossovers and that, but you can bypass them with these amplifiers. And the DSP, uh, the 4 version is also Pro 4 with uh, just 4 120 watt RMS uh, amplification. Now, I would really like this also to have a two smaller uh, outputs and two larger outputs, like two times 80 watts and two times 160 watts, just to use small wattages for the uh, tweeters and large wattages for the mid-range drivers. Now, I had this here, uh, uh, these few news here. Thank you for watching. If you have any car audio related news, please contact me in Ville uh, at santico.net or contact me in fb.me Ville Santico. Links are down here somewhere. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye bye.